Hey, how's it going, YouTube? This is Drake Glacius. I'm back again. I know I've been slacking on you guys with videos real bad, but uh, from now on, I got a little bit more time. I'm going to go ahead and uh, shoot you guys some videos. And this is the first snake tip since I came back. So um, I thought I'd do it kind of big. I thought I'd talk about one of the most important topics in snake keeping, and that's a sickness called the respiratory infection. Um, it's one of the most common snake sickness next to mites, which um, I might do a whole show about. I might talk a little bit about it right now, depending on the time. But um, a respiratory infection or the respiratory tract infection is a bacterial infection that happens in the lungs. And uh, it's caused by many different things, such as it can be caused by um, cage conditions being improper cage conditions, such as too low a temperature. Like, for example, a ball python needs to be at about 90 degrees until to about 80 to 82 degrees. And, um, and let's say its temperature gets down to like the 60s. You lower their immune system and you give the chance for the bacteria to get set in their lungs. And then that's what starts, jump starts the respiratory tract infection. And as you can see, instead of showing my face for the whole time, I decided to just let one of my snakes come out and you can look at her. This is my big female. She's about three feet long. You guys ever seen her yet? Uh, well, actually, I made one of the feeding videos and she's in there. But uh, I really like her. But back on topic, another cause of the respiratory infection is improper humidity. If you keep your... If you keep your cage too wet or too dry, that's another chance for that bacteria to set in to their lungs. So, like, for example, again, I use the ball python. They need about the humidity of about 50 to 60%. If your humidity is 100% all the time, you know, you, you're going to be, you could be facing a uh, respiratory infection or other problems. And also, if your humidity is too low, you can uh, you can you can face a respiratory infection. Some snakes are more prone to it, such as anacondas, and um, you know green tree pythons, the snakes that needs more specific um, care requirements. But um, all snakes can possibly get it. Now back on topic, another cause is stress, and this is basically one of the underlying causes because it's hard to tell sometimes when a snake is real stressed out. Um, sometimes you can tell by their actions, but most of the times you can't. And what can stress a snake out is too much handling, um, you know, handling them after they eat, too much light in the cage, not enough hide boxes, improper conditions, all that can create stress, which also lowers their immune system, which, you know, allows the bacteria to set in. And uh, the last cause is... Um, it actually is a contagious illness. So let's say one of your snakes has it and you put it in the same cage with another snake that doesn't, most likely the other snake is going to get it. So um, those are some of the causes of the respiratory infection. Now we're going to talk about some of the symptoms and some of the things to look for. So um, one of the early symptoms of a respiratory infection is actually the clicking or the popping noise. You know of their nostrils when they're trying to breathe because of the um, the mucus in their in their throat and it kind of makes that popping or clicking sound now this doesn't always mean that it could be a respiratory infection it could be you know a, a stuck shed in their nose or you know other problems but um, that's one of the early telltale signs of a respiratory infection another sign is you know sluggishness um, if they just stop eating stuff like that weight loss but um, those are all, you know, those are all symptoms that, you know, can mean something else. I mean, just because they're losing weight or not eating doesn't mean they have a respiratory infection. But uh, one of the major reasons I won't get into, but first I want to say another one of the small reasons you can look for, which is when, you, when your snake sticks out its tongue, if their tongue is stuck together, that's another one you can look for. That means that, means that there's a chance that they have a respiratory infection. Um, but one of the major symptoms is um that you can look for is definitely the oozing you know of um mucus out of their mouth and out of their nostrils that's one of the major signs if you see that you definitely want to get your snake to a vet immediately um that okay i kind of got tongue tied tongue tied there but um 
Yeah, if you see a snake like wheezing out, and you see uh, mucus coming out of his nose, his mouth, you see him rubbing his face against the cage, you see all kind of mucus marks, definitely want to get your snake to a vet because they're going to get the proper antibiotics that's going to help fight that. Um, in the meantime, if you can't get your snake to a vet immediately, what you can do is raise the heat inside of your cage. You want to raise it to a nice hot temperature so that you can help the snake fight off the illness for a little while until you can get it some help. And also another important thing that people forget about is to keep feeding your snakes. Don't stop feeding them. Keep on offering them food. You know, let them eat. You know, let them be active. Let them run around the cage at them hot temperatures. That also helps to fight the illness. Um, but I also want to talk about one of the um, kind of the treatments, which I already kind of touched on, which is pretty much with respiratory infections, um, the best treatment is to take them to a vet. I mean, there's nothing better than to just simply bring them to the vet, let the vet check them out, let the vet diagnose exactly what they need. Don't try to do it yourself. Um, you know, this is your snake's life you're dealing with. So you don't want to just sit there at home and just hope it goes away. Because this isn't something that, you know, just goes away in a day. So um, with that said, if you ever dealt with a respiratory infection, you know, or you're dealing with a respiratory infection right now, just look for, look for the symptoms first. Make sure it has a respiratory infection. The mucus out of the mouth, the popping, the clicking noise, and the sluggishness, um, the not wanting to eat, the different things like that. You want to look for those traits first. And when you find out something like that, then you want to immediately get them to a vet. But um, this has been a video on a respiratory infection or a respiratory tract infection. That's my phone ringing. So that kind of signals me to be at the end of it. But um, I hope this helps everybody, and this is my first snake tip since I came back. Alright, see ya.